Live on the uh, scene, no, Dark our Torch correspondent, Amy Carter. Hi. Uh, yes, I am live on the scene uh, of the Toy Factory explosion just off of I-69 on exit 69, Big Beaver. Okay, come on. Uh, there was a uh, huge explosion that rocked the community. Well, we can't show you the scene because, well, frankly, we'll get our license taken away. Let's just say that the toy factory is not a regular toy factory. Can you describe the scene to our viewers? Um, uh, no, 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 I cannot. Um, well, they're everywhere. Uh, they're stuck in trees. Um, they're on top of small businesses in various sizes. But I did speak to an eyewitness earlier. Sadly, we can't use any of the audio that they have provided because of the falling phalluses. But this eyewitness let us know that they were caught outside when the toy factory exploded, sending thousands of passion projectiles into the sky, which then rained down upon the community. We learned from the eyewitness that during the time when the passion projectiles started raining from the sky, there was a lot of people running. Um, one side was running to be careful and to seek cover. The other side was running to catch the suggestive storm of toys before they hit the ground. According to first responders to the scene, they had to treat people uh, of injuries ranging from mild concussion to hilarious eye injuries. Oh, how is the community recovering from this? We are hearing from local leaders and they're asking for the community to come together during this time of need. They are asking for donations of water and cleaning products while asking residents to please be patient and plenty of rest should be needed. I'm sure this community is really feeling it right now. Back to you in the studio, Amy Burke, Action 4 News.